When the PGA Tour made its return to Wilmington for last year's Wells Fargo Championship, Brian Harmon cashed in. A birdie on his final hole of the weekend earned him his second PGA Tour win and a pretty nice paycheck for his efforts. But that win was just the start to Wilmington becoming a very lucrative stop for this Georgia native. A lot of business is done on the golf course. Ryan Lake should know he and his wife Denise have helped shape their Wilmington-based company Megacorp into one of the top 50 brokerage firms in the country. So he has an eye for business. And when Brian Harmon came back to help raise money for the first tee of Greater Wilmington, Ryan Legg and some of his employees had a chance to play with Harmon. And it didn't take long to realize there might be a very good business opportunity. Uh, I think after meeting Brian and you saw the relationship that we immediately developed, I really needed somebody like that to when he's playing with customers, they can do the same thing. Ryan's a, a great man and we hit it off really well and, and you know, we've become you know, pretty good friends and, and for me that's really important. Friends and now business partners, a friendly four holes with the Wells Fargo champion, turning into a relationship that could be financially beneficial for each of them. The first tournament, I hope you watched the, uh, the Sony, but he was leading it and we had barely got the hat to him that Thursday. And uh, our, our company uh, had a thousand Google searches that weekend. So I know it had an impact on, on our company. We're flying all over the place and I mean, you pay $25 for the first bag, $35 for the next bag, and then $100 because my golf clubs are never underweight. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think that gets enough credence, you know, what it, what it costs to, to do all that in a year, and it's, it's pretty substantial. The deal with Megacorp is for the entire 2018 PGA Tour season, so Harmon will have help with those expenses, but after this year, I hope it continues. Um, just depends on how well he does and how expensive that hat gets. <laughs> In Wilmington, Bob Bonner, WECT News.